Assalamu alaikum guys this is me Shahriyar Mubarak on my channel Hasan Ali with another episode of my take <coughs> Israeli prime minister Benjamin Netanyahu today is vows to invade Rafa whether peace deal or truce deal happens between Israel and the Palestinian group Hamas in Gaza or this uh, Gaza war stops as the proposal given by US and the mediators involve Qatar, Egypt. Egypt is working tirelessly to reach some sort of a peace agreement because uh, Qat uh, after Qatar backed out a bit because uh, Qatar feel that both sides have uh, let Qatar down. And I think it is because uh, what happened in Paris or the Paris agreement which was about to happen in the month of February but didn't happen and then we said, uh, we, we saw a uh, lot more loss of life in Gaza, a lot more people dying in Gaza, a lot more uh, human rights violations, a lot more genocidal massacres took place in Gaza by the Israeli forces. And a lot more Palestinians got killed and Palestinians uh, celebrated whole month of holy month of Ramadan under the rubble, under the, in the ruins of Gaza in without any food without any proper aid without clean water without any proper things to eat they celebrated and they kept their 29 days of fast they observed the holy month of ramadan and then they celebrate eat uh, in the ruins and the in the rubble and the ruins of gaza they did it and they did it with at most esteem I shall say that because during the holy month of Ramadan and even on Eid, Israeli forces kept on pounding Gaza Strip and during the holy month of Ramadan we saw the Al Shifa hospital were under siege for more than two weeks, Al Nasr hospital were under siege for more than two weeks and these sieges end almost in the last Ashra in the last 10 days of Ramadan on 1st of April these sieges end and after that we saw mass graves we uh, had the uh, witnesses saying about the torture the inhuman uh, uh, inhuman behavior that the people who suffered and now the bodies which were recovered from the mass graves of Al Shifa hospital and Nasser hospitals which are more than 500 people if you can, if you add the both uh, set of mass graves from Al Nasser and Al Shifa majority of these bodies were uh, exhumed or uh, were uh, recovered from Al Nasser hospital around 392 and the rest of the bodies around 100 they were recovered from the Al Shifa hospital and all the bodies have similar sort of uh, torture marks uh, physical abuse marks and the bodies were uh, stripped uh, till the underwear they, uh, the body was stripped naked they don't they did they didn't have even underwear on the men didn't have even underwear on and there are people who say that even few women were found from Al Shifa and Al Nasser they didn't have anything on but because their body was so much decomposed as they were uh, systematically uh, being uh, uh, buried under three meters uh, height not under the normal height of six feet under they were uh, buried around three meters de depth so their bodies decomposed very quickly and the sheets which the IDF soldiers used, the Israeli Defense Forces, the sheets helped quicken up the decomposition of the bodies. And these and there are 20 people from Al Nasr hospital, their bodies recovered, that they were buried alive. And the Al Nasr hospital, all the civil defense team of uh, Palestine, Palestinian Atta, Palestine, Palestine and Gaza, they are saying that if any other more advanced, uh, more advanced technology and more advanced equipment team from anywhere else, from UN or any other country, can come and examine the evidences and the proofs that we have uh, collected from the bodies and the uh, things we recovered from the bodies like uh, the, uh, the, 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 the the Vistra, the DNA and the etc. They said that they will confirm our, uh, our claim that they, are, they will confirm this uh, logic or uh, our claim that 20 people were 
uh, buried alive by the Israeli forces. So uh, it, 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 it is now that people of Palestine have suffered a lot. People of Palestine have seen everything. And now this peace deal which is on table, which is on table by uh, the interlocutors, Qatar and Egypt and the United States, where you have to feel for the people of Palestine. You have to feel for the innocent people and poor people of Palestine, these people, of, uh, these people that America, who is the enabler of this Israeli genocide of Gaza, they, the Anthony Blinken, the biggest criminal of this uh, modern day, he said that Israel, Hamas have a generous offer. You are killing someone. You are helping the accused of a murder. And then you are saying that Israel have given you a generous deal. Accept it. And it is Hamas who, who is between the ceasefire and the people of Gaza. No, it is not Hamas. It is the countries like United States, United Kingdom, and the, uh, the people who are uh, supporting Israel, who are helping Israel, who are enabling this genocidal war of Israel, who is enabling this genocidal rhetoric, in, uh, uh, rhetoric by Israel, they are responsible. They are between the ceasefire and between the peace ceasefire and the people of Gaza, people of Palestine. Because people of Palestine and Gaza are being killed by Israel, not by Hamas. They are being killed by Israel, by the bullets, by the air strikes, by the ground invasion, by by uh, de deliberately starving them, by halting aid, by not letting medicine through, by not letting medic, uh, by not letting any civic uh, facility get back on, by not letting power get back on in Gaza, by not letting the internet get back on in Gaza. So you can and you 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 can say whatever you want to say, but this Anthony Blinken statement is vile. It's disgusting it's distasteful and it shows that how insensitive these americans these westerners these english people these white people are that they do not care that 34535 people have been killed so far more than 77704 people are injured in gaza and practically gaza is a rebel city now gaza is the city of debris according to the un estimate more than 10000 people are buried or, miss, or, or who are missing or uh, who are missing are buried under the rubble of Gaza. And if this happens, if this peace prevails, if this ceasefire happens, the, uh, the international community will come and see more than 10,000 people under the rubble. If you estimate just said 10 to 15 or even 20,000, 54,000 54, people have been killed by Israel. Have been killed by Israel. What else you uh, need and you still say that it's a generous offer it is a shame it is a slap on the resistance movement it is a slam on the palestinian people it is a slam on the palestinian freedom movement that west is still not record uh, is still not recognizing the sacrifice the pain the loss of life the loss of everything that these palestinians in gaza or these palestinians in west bank have lost since 1948 14th may 1948 it's shameful that western leaders say that thing let me just read the draft deal which is proposed 33 hostages going to be released by hamas in exchange of 40 days ceasefire or three weeks ceasefire also israel will release hundreds of palestinian prisoner uh, palestinian prisoners from israeli prisons few say Around 1,000 prisoners are going to be released by Israel, but it will. Uh, we, we will have to see it. That what will happen. Also, displaced Palestinians from southern Gaza could return to their home, northern Gaza, freely, without any restrictions. And Hamas asked that Israel needs to withdraw uh, uh, its for its forces. Uh, I think it, it is one. It is going to be one of their Hamas response. Ad, ad would be allowed to enter Gaza freely, and also in second phase there will be a sustainable calm. First of all, there is no clarity on this thing that will Israel is going to hold this? Will America is going to take guarantee of Israel? Will America is going to make sure that Israel is going to stick to its word? It is a bit difficult. It is a bit difficult for because in the past Israel have always gone against the 
uh, written uh, agreement and the agreement which was signed in uh, end of uh, January or in the month of February in a Paris, the, the France or the Paris Accord which was uh, uh, mediated by the French government as well. It was failed because Israeli for Israeli state and Israeli Prime Minister said that they are not uh, allow, they are not ready, or they are not going through with this Paris Agreement, in which the Hamas was uh, Hamas uh, agreed that they are going to surrender the control of Gaza to the Palestinian Authority, and there will be a new government come up. But nothing of that sort happened because Israeli. Uh, Israeli uh, delegation told the intermediators at that time, uh, the Egypt, France, Qatar, and Americans, and uh, and the French and the French people, French uh, the delegates that Israeli Prime Minister is saying that we are not ready to accept it and we will not go through with it. They kill more uh, twenty thousand people around that time as well. Israel backtrack at that time. Hamas has this previous experience. That's why they took 24 hours to respond. What could be their response? My view, they would still ask for the permanent ceasefire. They would ask for the complete removal of uh, Israeli forces throughout the Gaza, from the Gaza Strip. They, 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 uh, they want all the uh, Israeli forces to leave Gaza Strip and end of blockade of Gaza, which is in place from last 16 years. And they would also ask that, I think the, in the last agreement, the, the, in the last uh, uh, agreement or in the last proposal they gave that Turkey and Russia is going to give guarantee, then we will surrender the control of Gaza and then we will ready to lay our uh, arms if Palestinian state can come up, if the Israel accept to the two state solution and let the Palestinian state to be coming bean and left the control of West Bank, left the control of the occupied territories that they agreed in Oslo Accord to give to the Palestinians. It is my view, maybe Hamas could accept the uh, proposal given by the mediators and by US, but I personally feel it will not going to end like that because still today Benjamin Netanyahu said that whether with the peace deal, with the truce deal or not, we are going to invade Rafah. And the uh, other thing that ICC International Criminal Court of uh, International Criminal Court is looking to issue the warrants against Benjamin Netanyahu for the uh, hum human rights violation during the Gaza war. The Israeli soldiers, uh, these IDF uh, soldiers have did, uh, have committed in Gaza, and also the mass graves and the many other violations that Israel has been committing in the Gaza Strip or on the West or the occupied territories on West Bank on the other side of the uh, border. So it will be interesting to see what happened, but still I feel that 24 hours, next 24 hours are very important. It will going to be make or break because if Anthony Blinken fail now, I would feel that America is out of the game. Then only can China and Russia can mediate any sort of peace deal between Palestine and Israel because America is on the last breaths or on the last change because if they fail this time around, I don't think so. They will have any further part to play in this Middle East crisis. Long live Palestine, long live the people of Palestine, long live the freedom movement of Palestine from the river to the sea, Palestine shall be free. Long live Islam, Allah Hafiz.